I'm here at the geographic centre of the European Union in the parish of Westengrund in Germany and just a stone's throw from where I live. Its location is calculated by the French National Geographic Institute and it's a very complicated business. Imagine you were to make a map of the European Union out of cardboard. You can't actually do it because there are parts of the European Union that aren't connected to everything else. But if you had a special material of zero mass to connect everything up together, you could make a map of the EU and that map's centre of gravity would be the centre. Now, you might think that the sensible thing to do would be to take the most northerly, southerly, westerly and easterly points of the European Union and calculate the exact middle of those. But some countries have overseas territories and some of those are parts of the European Union. And that would put the midpoint of the EU somewhere ridiculous like the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, over the years since the National Geographic Institute started doing this, the European Union has grown and each time the centre has moved. In 2013, when Croatia joined, it moved here. Well, almost. It was in Vestengrund, but not exactly here. In fact, it was just the other side of those trees. But thousands of miles away, near Madagascar, the tiny group of islands known as Mayotte had just become a French overseas department and in 2014 officially became part of the European Union. And so the centre of the European Union had to be recalculated and it was moved here, still inside Westengrund, much to the relief of the locals. And it's even become a bit of a tourist attraction, as evidenced by the visitor's book. The question now is, where's it going to go next? The United Kingdom is poised to leave the European Union, and if it does, the centre of gravity will shift. But where to? That hasn't been calculated yet, and there are some unknown factors. For example, will Scotland and Northern Ireland leave the UK and remain part of the European Union? In any case, it seems as if the centre is going to move somewhere in that direction. The problem is that over there is an awful lot of forest and not many people. The worry is that the centre of the European Union is going to end up miles from civilization. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not send me a postcard? Here's the address. Or visit rubos.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my blog.